Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today we will talk about Maven project. We will see what is Maven project and the importance of Maven project. So far we have seen the normal Java project and we have seen how to set up Selenium configuration in normal Java project. But in this video, I'm going to show you step by step. How can you basically configure your Selenium setup in Maven project? So what is Maven basically? So Maven is basically an open source uh, project management tool developed by the Apache group. There are so many major reasons why we use Maven project. Maven can do a lot of helpful activities uh, if you are developing your project. So the primary reasons of using the Maven project is simplification of your project building. I mean, when you are working on a project, you may need to install, configure a lot of other plugins or you may also need to download some documentation. Okay, a lot of building process keeps going on when you are creating a project, right? Uh, for example, if you are using, if you are working on your normal Java project, you have to set up your Selenium jar files separately and you have to download those Selenium jar files from the Selenium official website that is selenium.dev and then you have to configure those uh, selenium jar files in your uh, java project in uh, build a path that is time consuming so in order to avoid that when you use maven project you can automate these things so let me explain a couple of things in the normal java project so that you can uh, understand the difference between the maven project and the normal java project uh, properly so in the normal java project as you can see this is my normal java project and selenium is configured here you can see the the reference libraries inside reference libraries you can see selenium 4.2.2 is already configured so this i have uh, configured by downloading the jar files from the selenium web official website and then i have uh, and then i have configured those inside uh, the build path okay and uh, so this uh, again uh, takes a lot of time to do all this process right so this is a manual kind of manual process so in the uh, maven project uh, the source and the resources uh, that folder structures are going to be different from the the normal java project i'm going to create a maven project now and i'll show you step by step for that let me go to file and select new and here i am getting two options i am going i'm getting the option for java project and and project right so don't select the java project because you are not creating a novel java project in case if you are trying to create a normal java project select java project and proceed but in this case we are going to create a maven project so for that select project okay so uh, now you see the option uh, maven project uh, the plugin is already there if you are using the newer version of the eclipse then you will get this maven project option uh, by default uh, in most of the new eclipse versions in case if you are using a very old eclipse version then you will not get this option you have to download maven project plugin separately and you have to integrate with your eclipse ide then only you will get this option and then you will be able to create the maven project okay so uh, since uh, i'm using the new newer version i'm using the latest version of uh, Eclipse, so I'm getting this option Maven project, and I'll select this and I'll go, I'll click on next. Okay, here there is an option create a simple project. You have to select this and click on next, and you get this. So you have to give the uh, some property. You have to give this artifacts values. Uh, you can give a group ID, artifact ID. Okay, what is group ID? You can give anything like com dot uh, hello. You can give and uh, you can give the artifact ID is basically the name of the project. So I can give sample one. I'm just giving a name, uh, artifact idea sample one. This is going to be my project name. Okay, then comes the version and then packaging. All these uh, are going to be the same. Okay, so I'm not defining any uh, package name here. So I'm just leaving it like that. And let me click on finish. So you can see uh, sample one got created and I'll exp expand this. You can see the structure. It has got uh, src slash main slash java, src slash main slash resources, again test java, the test resources. So this is the structure of the Maven project. So inside that you can see uh, the other items and there is something called pom.xml. So we will go uh, into detail about this. So once you create the Maven project, this is the default structure that you can see. So now I'll go to pom.xml. So this is the pom.xml file and it has uh, the version 4.0.0 and the group ID that we provided during the creation of Maven project which is com.hello. This can be anything, you can give any name here. I'm just, I've just given uh, com.hello as the group ID and the artifact ID that we provided as uh, sample1, this is the project name. 
project name sample one sample one artifact id and the version uh, is this and uh, so this is the structure of the default pom.xml file it has uh, information about your project okay so inside this pom.xml uh, we can uh, download we can provide the dependencies and it, we can download our required softwares required uh, plugins as per our projects needs okay so in the beginning i was telling the importance of the the main uses of maven as i said the uses of maven is to help uh, uh, the building process uh, help configuring uh, or downloading some of the dependencies right so this is why the maven is used so i'm going to uh, provide the dependencies of selenium uh, libraries because i need to configure selenium in this maven project it is it is not yet configured right so i'm not going to download it separately unlike the normal java project uh, wherein we download it separately and configure here i'm not going to do this i'm going to just provide the version of my selenium uh, server the selenium uh, the required version i'm going to i'm just going to provide in the form of dependencies then my job will be done okay so for that i'm going to open uh, something called dependencies so just type dependencies and press enter and you can see uh, two tags are created this is the open tag and that this is the closed tags of the dependencies okay so inside that you have to uh, basically provide the dependencies that you you need so I, I need the dependencies of the selenium server okay so for that i'm going to the maven repository so let me go to the maven repository i'll type maven selenium dependency and then i'll uh, click on this so i'm going inside the uh, maven repository.com mvn repository.com so here i can see the the latest version that is 4.3.0 that's the selenium 4.3.0 so i'm going to click on this and uh, then i'll copy this uh, as you can see the selenium java 4.3.0 is the latest version and it is having the dependency in maven repository okay you can see group id artifact id all these are there so you just need to copy this whole thing you just copy it, the dependency part and then you just need to paste inside this dependencies block okay paste it and uh, remove this line it's not required i just uh, i just copied this also from here it's not required you can just copy this part and you paste it here and uh, you just format this control shift f and now you'll see the project structure so the project structure is like that right you do not see any other uh, folders here you are not seeing something called maven dependencies right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, after after i pasted this uh, dependencies after providing the dependencies i'm going to save it i'm going to just press control s and it will start building my project okay so as soon as i'm done with the building process then you can see a separate uh, folder called uh, separate uh, item called maven dependencies okay let me do control s on my keyboard okay control s you see this is starting it has just built okay you can it is it is so fast it is it's actually built okay now as you can see the maven dependencies uh, that item has got created and i can expand this and uh, you will see the selenium uh, the 4.3.0 jars are also added okay i did not have to manually download those jar files from the official website and then configuring it on the the will path those things are not required in the case of maven project because we are kind of automating the process with the help of maven project by providing these dependencies in the pom.xml file so this is the beauty of maven project okay it helps in in many other ways also so in selenium this is the purpose of using this maven project okay not just for the selenium jar files downloading it's required but also you can configure a lot of other important items uh, whatever is required in your project okay and now let's say you want to upgrade to the latest version i mean this is the latest version obviously right now 4.3.0 while i'm making this video but in case if you want to upgrade to the next version if it is available or if you want to downgrade to the previous version then you can do that so for example uh, the previous version of uh, selenium was uh, 4.2.2 so let me down downgrade this so i'll provide 4.2.2 and you see here it is 4.3.0 now i'll just do control s now after providing the version so let me click on, so let me press control s you can see this building and now you see the version is 4.2.2
correct so you can do anything now if i want to again upgrade to the 4.3.0 uh, let me provide here 4.3.0 so i'll press ctrl s here building you can you can see this is changed to 4.3.0 so similarly you can play with it you can provide the version you require there's no need of separately downloading and configuring it those are time consuming process so maven can give you the actual version you just need to uh, update the correct version here in the dependency file of the pom.xml okay so now if you want to download some other dependencies some other plugin of different softwares you can do the same you can simply open a new dependency here and you can just provide the the version of that particular dependency okay that particular plugin so next i'm going to show you a program okay i'm going to show you a program how to uh, execute selenium in maven project okay for that i'm going to create a, a class and a package inside test java so let me let me create a package first so let me give a name uh, something called uh, package one just sample package name i'm giving and inside this i'm going to uh, create a class so let me click on class and then i'll provide uh, something like uh, uh, sample hello one something like that i'm giving a class name and i'm not going to select public static void min because i'm not going to uh, use this format i'm going to use the proper uh, test ng uh, structure here uh, for the live example okay i'm going to click on finish and uh, you can see this is the sample hello one is created so i'm going to click here one method public uh, void uh, maybe i can give uh, uh, hello uh, sample one and i'm going to give uh, some body here so i'm here uh, what i'm going to write here i'm going to write my test here basically so uh, my my idea is to launch the browser okay so uh, for that uh, i need to initialize my uh, the web driver okay so how to initialize the web driver uh, what is the purpose of it uh, all this detailing is already uh, covered in my one of my previous videos you can please go and watch those videos it will be very helpful for you to understand before coming to this Maven structure of the project okay so but yeah i'm anyways going to continue so for that let me uh, create the web driver uh, instance of it and uh, i'm going to uh, launch the browser uh, the chrome browser basically okay so basically i am uh, creating the web driver reference i'm creating an object for the chrome driver class and giving the reference to the web driver so now if i uh, mouse over on it i can get the option to import let's import it and similarly i will I'm going to import the Chrome driver uh, class as well. Okay, these all are imported. Both are imported now. Okay, so now uh, before that, let me provide the Chrome driver uh, path. Not that, that Chrome driver or EX is required because uh, I need to launch the browser. So this all this is already downloaded in my system. I'm going to provide the path now. Uh, but let me try the syntax. So let me type here system dot set property. So this is the key value pair I'm going to give. So I'm going to type here web driver dot chrome dot driver so i'm going to give the value here so this is going to be the location of the chrome driver path so this is my path the chrome driver is already downloaded in my system so i'm copying this so i'll paste it also i need to provide the name of the chrome driver file so that is chrome driver itself and then i'll provide here with the extension this is exe file this part is done so if i execute this program it's going to launch the chrome browser so, but i'm going to launch the browser with some url for that i'm going to give a url https slash www.webs.com so i'm also going to maximize this browser so driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so this is the line you have to write then it will maximize the window so now if i execute this program so let me just uh, see if i can execute this or not so you cannot execute because there is no run configuration available right i need to configure the test ng first here okay so for that let me just type test ng annotation here so basically test ng is already configured in my eclipse ide okay so but i'm still getting some error why i'm getting this error let us see let me mouse over on it see uh i'm not getting the option to import a test ng correct because uh, I have not yet configured a test ng jar file here. Okay, so so you can see the test ng jar file is not available. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to my uh, Maven dependencies again the pom.xml file. 
So this is already open here. So I'm going to download the testng jar files from the Maven repository now again. Okay. For that, let me go here and then I'm going to type here a testng. So you can see this is the testng link and click on this and you can see the latest version of testng that is 7.6.1. Okay. So let me um, uh, click on this and you can see the dependency is available here. Okay. Dependencies are available. So I'll, I'll copy this. Uh, dependencies and uh, I'll paste it inside my dependencies and dependency close and uh, open and close inside this block I have to paste it okay I paste it and then control shift F to format then uh, it is not available right now if I control S if I do means if I'm saving it so you can see it is building okay, you can see test engine 7.6.1 dot jar file is added to my maven project Okay, now if I go to my sample hello project, so if I'm always over on it, I can see import test. It's coming up, test engine is coming up. So let me import this, and you can see that it has added the annotation successfully, and I'm getting getting the option, the run and debug option here. Okay, so now my test engine uh, jar is also configured with the help of this dependency. The version I have given from the, uh, the Maven repository, whatever is latest that I have given 7.6.1, you can also downgrade or upgrade as per availability of the test engine jar files. So, uh, so I'm going to run this program now. So let me right click and see I'm getting, so I'm getting test engine test because I have configured the test engine 7.6.1 jar file here with the help of the form.xml file. Okay, so I'm getting this option. So let me run as a test ng test uh, by right clicking on the program. So as you can see, test ng detect, detected version is 7.6.1. Okay, and uh, here it is able to launch the browser with the URL and it is also going to maximize the window. Okay, so let's see the report here. You can see this is the successful report. Okay, so let me close this because I have not used the driver bit and all. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to run the program by doing right click on the program and all. I'm going to utilize this run option here because I'm using the test ng here in Maven project. So I'm, I can use uh, the run button here. I can simply click on run and it is going to execute the program. You can see it is executing. It is launching the browser and it is able to execute that Selenium piece of code that I have written. So it is uh, maximizing the browser window and I'll close this now and you can see this is pass. Okay. So basically uh, we have been able to successfully complete the Maven project and we have been able to uh, configure the whole Selenium setup and the required other uh, softwares like, like uh, uh, TestNG and all. So this is successfully done. So this is how you can configure your uh, Maven project. You can play with the Maven project. Uh, you can create a Maven project, you can set up your Selenium. You just need to play with this pom.xml file as and when you are required to uh, configure some of the plugins or some softwares as per your project needs. If you want to configure, then you can make use of this pom.xml file. So this is the whole beauty of the Maven project. So I hope you have understood the concept of Maven project, how to create, what is the purpose of it, what is the benefits we have over normal Java project. So this is how you can play with Maven project. Okay, so that's all in the video. I hope you have liked the video, you have enjoyed the video. Just follow the steps and practice and practice. Uh, if you are getting some error, no problem. You just uh, keep keep on practicing. Try to find out the solution on your own. Then it will be very helpful for you. You just need to keep on practicing. I'll come up with a new video. If you have any questions, please drop those in the comment section. I will answer those. Thank you. Thanks for watching.